No va a ser bien. Ya. Yeah. Uh, what's your nationality? Gracias. Me queda, me queda. Me queda. Uh, what's your nationality? Irish. No, I mean, apart from the obvious that I've well, been which, arrested... Which bit wasn't fair, the media coverage? I mean, a lot of the stuff that they were writing wasn't necessarily true, and it was information that they just assumed was going on in my case. And What wasn't true? Oh, my gosh, I, I don't even have enough time to tell you a lot well, of you just stuff, said but... the media were lying about you. What, what, what was... Name me one lie. Well, I mean, they didn't have the facts about my situation, about my case, so they we were all just... We know the facts. You smuggled one and a half yeah. million pounds worth of cocaine, okay. you got convicted for it. So I mean... this is your opportunity, you yeah, but... say, to lay okay, out Okay, it's facts. fine to come on and yeah. say... You can go on national TV and say mm -hmm. the media all lied about you, but what was the lie? Well, I mean, they didn't have a, a lot of the accurate information, so they... What was they the didn't... lie? Gosh, I can't even say off my head. Can you name one lie that you said the media lied about you? What? Yeah, well, they'd said a lot of lies about me as a person and what the kind What's of person the, what I was. Lie? Well, they kind of portrayed me in an on-nice way. Um, I, don't know, I don't know how to break this to you. When you're a one and a half million pound yeah, cocaine I mean, that's smuggler, fine, but... that's not very nice. No, but you know, I hold my hands Do you know the damage that kind of thing does? I mean, you know, it, I don't know what, how you thought the media would portray you. Is what the angel... An angel come down to bear no, her gifts on us? No, of course not, but I mean, I feel like I was arrested for drug smuggling. The news should have been based on that. It shouldn't have been based on my personal life or other digs of, you know, my life personally. I mean, if it was covered in my news and me being arrested... You've just written a whole book about your personal life. Yeah, but I mean, I'm talking about previously, no, I mean, it's OK. So it's OK for you to things. do it, but the media, once you've been convicted of this of this offence, they're not allowed to do anything. No, but that's my voice, that's me telling them. I don't think it's OK for other people to... Yeah, but talk you're not able to life. name a single lie. I mean, I'm at the top of my head now, I can't even think, but... I think you should be very careful about saying the media lied about me to get a sympathy vote and then be incapable of naming a single lie they've told. You know what I mean? I mean, I used to work at the media, it's annoying when yeah. people do that. It's like, it's an easy... It's an easy card to play. The media all misrepresented me, they all lied about me. I think what might have happened, Michaela, I mean, is that when you get drawn into something like this, it can be not just the event itself, but it mm -hmm. can be a massive shock when the whole story of your life is told. And that probably made you feel incredibly vulnerable and, I, yeah. and you want to now put it across your side of the story. What was the worst moment for you in the whole experience? Was it being caught? Was it being in prison? What was the, the um, lowest point? It was probably being in prison, cos then I kind of realised what, you know, I'd done and the mm. situation I'd put myself into. And, yeah, it was quite hard to kind of understand that, you know, what I'd actually done. And I think it took a while for it to kind of sink in. And, yeah. and you, you know what, Michaela, look, I, here's what I think. We've got to wrap this up. I, I think... I commend you for getting your life back on track, right? Everyone deserves a second chance in life. You've got two kids, and I hope that you become the mother to them that you want to be yeah. and that you're a different person. I can accept that you've obviously learned a very harsh lesson there. I find it a lot harder to feel sorry for you when you're making money from a book about it, and I find it pretty irritating that you would then attack the media for lying about you and then not be able to name a single lie they've told. I just don't think that's a clever strategy. No one's going to feel sorry for you here. But what you can be is a force for a good message mm -hmm. in the way that you want to be without all the, the whining and probably without all the profiting. Mm -hmm. It's those two things that are going to annoy people. Do you know you're going to make a big profit from the book? I doubt it. How much do you think you'll make? I think maybe 
I don't know, a thousand, two thousand. Not even maybe. as much money. Here's my advice. To, no, Here's my advice, smuggling. Michaela. Give it to charity. Give it to a charity of people who've been adversely affected by <laughs> drugs. If, you know, that's be my advice. Mm -hmm. And stop moaning about the media. You got the I'm media not, coverage. Moaning, I just thought you got the media was... coverage you deserve, Michaela. Yeah. And people too often I've been on the I've been on both sides of this fence, mm -hmm. right? Media coverage when it's negative and it's unfair, undeserved, is one thing. You deserved it. You yeah. know, you, you got the coverage that you deserved. Unfair. And it's probably <laughs> better for you just to say, you know what? Just... I deserved it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I totally did deserve it, and I feel like I did pay the price. You know, I'm not doing this to profit. I just kind of want to bring awareness and get my story out there, yeah. you know, which I think... OK, well, listen, we've given you 10 minutes to put your story out yeah. there, <laughs> and uh, we appreciate you coming.